Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. Emma Watson plays May Holland, a millennial stuck in a dead-end job as a call center operator for a water company. And then a friend gets her an interview with a circle, a world-class company with a work campus like Google's, and a leader, played by Tom Hanks, who comes across like the late Steve Jobs of Apple. I am a believer in the perfectibility of human beings. At the circle, we can finally realize our potential. So does May get the job? She actually aces her interview by saying the one thing she fears most is unfulfilled potential. Everyone at the circle is in their 20s or early 30s, with a notable exception of Tom Hanks' character, Bailey, and a few others. They're glad to be employed at such a famous company, and for the most part, accept corporate culture without question. Each week, the campus comes together for Dream Friday. At May's first such event, Bailey announces the invention of a new kind of camera, just a bit larger than a marble. It transmits everything in sight to satellite, and then on to the cloud, and to the public, of course. And it's affordable, no more than a pair of jeans. Are you starting to feel creeped out? May conveniently ignores the danger signs because she is trying so hard to fit in. When a more senior employee asks about her dad's multiple sclerosis, May is not offended that he somehow knows her family's business. She's just grateful when the company agrees to cover his medical treatment. Within a short time, May becomes the poster child for the circle's overreach. We all pay taxes. And what, 80% of us did that online last year? Why not stop duplicating services? Why not just make it all part of one unified system? You could pay your taxes, vote, pay your parking ticket, all through your circle account. May agrees to total transparency which means wearing a live camera 24-7. The only privacy she gets is three minutes for each bathroom visit. I was getting exasperated with May for her blissful ignorance, but all this changed when a new privacy-stealing product cost her friend his life. May eventually learns that transparency is only intended for the cult members. Did I say cult members? Make that employees. It's definitely not for the people at the top. The movie is almost more up-to-date than today's headlines. It was made before Congress allowed Internet service providers to sell your search history without your permission, but it deals with similar issues. The Circle includes the last film performance by the late Bill Paxton. And if you're a Doctor Who fan, you'll want to watch for Karen Gillan as the friend who got May her interview. Now, here's something ironic. I watched The Circle at my local Regal Cinema. There was a notice by the restroom door which read, The activities in this theater are recorded by video surveillance. Regal must also go by the three-minute rule, because I was able to copy the words on the sign without anyone noticing. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.